So, today, we are in a special place. I was trying to think of somewhere that I hadn't built before, at least had not built in quite a while, and I decided I want to build a base down here, underwater islands. So in the underwater islands, the lowest section, the largest one, is actually not an island. It, it's a uh, spire that goes up, and it's got all of these lovely floating boulders laying around, you know, all around it. And it's got the nice mega-sized floaters. It's got all this stuff. Also got bone sharks. That's going to be a problem. They're going to attack me a lot. But it has kind of an interesting setup. So at the bottom, there's also geothermal vents. And I remember building here before for the geothermal power. But what I want to do this time is I want to build like a secret base, kind of like a hidden underwater research facility for, you know, less than reputable research. So I think I'm going to build kind of just below the ring of rocks. Uh, it puts me, you know, a pretty good spot right there. You see where my little marker is. Uh, basically, I want to have it where I can get about two large rooms stacked and let that be it. And I'm hoping I can get this to build off of this. Right. So I think I'm going to start from this point. And for this, I did bring a, this applies for a large room. I'm going to have to go get more, uh, but I needed to get, oh, well, you yeah, know, might help if I to detach actually you know what that's fine i'm going to build a compartment so that i have a snapping point to snap back to because i'm going to take this out i don't want that stuck underneath i am going to use foundations later for some of the decorative stuff but right now no i don't want that there so i got that let's go ahead get a hatch and i'm going to do something a little different here I am going to make use of FCS items. Uh, namely, I'm going to go with Jetstream for power here. Uh, one, because I want to see how much power it generates. And while this is not the permanent location, uh, I need to get some power going. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. And kind of see how 159.6 per minute. All right. So I'm actually just going to throw in the supplies I pull through the terminal into the auto sort locker because these do work with easy craft. So I'll be able to just pull stuff out from this bit of storage, which uh, has got a decent bit in already. But that way I just burn through that. And when I need something, I'll go and get it through the terminal from the main base. And this is a case where I really, really wish we had an option other than the 90 degree right angle curved connector like why could we not have a 45 degree angle one you know half of that so that then instead of having to go at a straight 90 degree angle we could get that 45 degree angle and it would let us adjust the direction more not circular but closer to a circular type of arrangement it would make this look a lot better gotta go ahead and get some reinforcements put in because uh, i don't want to do what i did the last time and constantly spring leaks because I wasn't paying attention to hull strength. Okay, that did not work because I'm apparently hitting something. It is interfering with something right here, and I can't tell what. I'm assuming it's, it's just as too close. Oh, uh, you know, 45 degree angle. It would have gone nicely alongside this. Just saying, devs, Subnautica 3. 45 degree angle on this just cut it in half it'll make base building nicer there we go so we got that kind of enclosing these on the other side of this right below that we got a nice view when you come out here you'll get to see that and what i want to do is uh, we'll start with eight we'll go with eight should be enough I kind of want to make sure this has room. Uh, you know, I want to have room for more. But at the same time, I might just do a little bit more spread out. 
Okay, that's close enough. That's that's good enough. Let's turn these on so that I don't have to worry about my light flickering off. You know what? That's four. May do like another road there and then I'll leave me room for at least another four on top of that. And that'll be 12 here. And I'm going to do a mixture with this. I'm going to do the tidal power. But I'm also going to have a spot connecting below to the geothermal. I'm going to try to avoid doing anything solar with this right now. And I'm not sold on the bioreactor part yet either. All right, throw a light on there so we get a little bit light because it's not exactly the brightest area right here. It's kind of the moodiness I wanted. And, it, you know, secret base kind of hidden is out of the way and it's gloomy dark. Kind of helps the, you know, the hiding it part. So I think I am actually going to do the platforms here. Like I was going to do earlier, but I'm not going to connect to all the way over there. I've got something different in mind I want to try. Okay, so this I think might be big enough of an area. So we'll cover all that. What I want to do is I think I'm just going to go ahead and build... Across here because I should have more than enough quartz right now. I may actually change this out later for regular compartments uh, and do this slightly differently. So oh, that is, oh, I don't like the gap it's leaving there. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna do it this way. I, I just, I don't like that gap. I didn't want it to be like underneath, but I don't like the gap. Also, I think I'm just going to move this over by one to sit right on top, right there, go like this. So it'll tie in nicely with kind of, yeah, that is, it's framing it. It's an outline. And here, where we'll kind of, yeah, connect in that way. Uh, oh, I had enough available for one ingot. Uh, so let's just see if I can do... No, nope. I mean, I could if I want to turn off, like, turn the override on and just, like, yeah, have it in kind of a bed. Uh, but then I'll still leave that one side. I just, I won't worry about it. It's good right here. And boom. Okay, still positive on the hull strength, which is good. So, what I want to do now, I'm going to get some grow beds going. And I'm going to do this in a special theme right now because I will need grow beds to produce certain supplies because not everything's ready and working in the FCS mods. Later on, this will be purely a cosmetic element to it, but for now, it is going to have a utility purpose. I'm go ahead and take out the floodlights. But you know, I do feel like for right now, I might put a spotlight here. So it could kind of help point the way uh, towards some of these, you know, these bone sharks that might start messing with me, like that one right there. Dude, this is a good spot right there, right there. So like I said, there are geysers right down here below everything. I mean, literally there is, you can kind of see the outline of it a little bit there, yeah. It's right down here, just below it, some geysers. I want to take this reinforcement out. It could go somewhere else. And I'm going to do the compartment. So I can start doing this. We're going to do a vertical connector trunk going way down. I'm going to need a lot of reinforcements. Ooh, almost there. Let's, uh, you know what? That's, that's probably a good spot. So we'll do this. I'm going to go ahead and have it come do a T, which I don't have the supplies for. Uh, actually, that's, oh, uh, you know, I'm not actually happy with the placement here for this now, because it's right above that, uh, but can't really do much with it now. Let's do like this, and see if it'll do like this. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a double moon pool set up here for two prawn suits, because you need the prawn suits to come out here, fight off the bone sharks, protect 
the the thermal plants and do maintenance work on them. That's the idea. There's gonna be main, there's gonna be thermal plants there. They need to be kept in proper condition. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower my cyclops down here so I'm in range of the boom pulls. So it'll make it easier for me to build instead of having to pull the resources out beforehand. I just drive down here and keep it in range. And that should cover me. But first, I need to... Oh! Oh, that's the problem. It's not that I didn't have things. It's that I didn't finish the ladder. And that was in the way. Alright, that's fixed. So now I'll get the ladder. And conveniently, now I'm out of titanium again. I like how the draining systems initiated down below. And it was draining down below. And yet, the top is flooded. So you would think it would be flooding down through the ladder compartments below. Because, you know, it's gravity. Yeah, see? Totally fine right here. Oh, look at that big corridor right there. Vertical drop down. Climb up. Oh, this is flooded. I, I don't see any kind of uh, hatch or bulkhead preventing the water from flowing down the ladder. But it's, it's not. You know, anti-gravity water. All right, time for me to go and... Try to find a bunch more metal salvage. The good thing is I've got two of the Mark V storage modules. So I, I've got plenty of storage space on this one. Ooh, a time capsule. Nice lucky find while I'm out getting supplies. Unfortunate travels. Maybe trapped on this planet as I once was. Don't worry, you keep making it. Alright, yep. Crimson Sun 88. Shout out to you for the time capsule. Well, I get Another thermal blade. So I'm back. Tons of titanium, some lead, quartz. Just did a run. Got as much as I could. Dropped it off at the main base. Did a run back. Dropped it off in the Cyclops. So I've got plenty. But now I'm going to go ahead and make use of some of the stuff I made sure I had at the other base. Uh, which is going to be these. I think, uh, you know, we'll do these. Oh, wait. I think that'll give a good enough spread of the uh, glow and I'm just going to kind of spread these out right now and then fill them in later uh, again once the hydroponic harvester is working fully I'm just going to be sticking with that anyway so this is just for the cosmetic aspect right now and of course with these kind of have to plant them and then get the seeds actually I want to do something else Instead of leaving this wide open, what I want to do is I'm going to create basically kind of a frame. Again, this is a secured location. Uh, we got bone sharks around. So when somebody comes out here to collect the plants, they don't want to be attacked. So I'm going to actually kind of just create a cage on this uh, using these and of course there goes that i could also make use of these for some of the reinforcements and now i'm gonna have to go and fit some leaks again so anyway what i was gonna say is i want to create like a cage type of pattern and i know if i build oh well yeah that i will have to do something there because i don't want the compartments to attach to the end um they just uh I just do T compartments because I may very well build up these like that and essentially the compartment or the the way I'm doing this is to kind of like you've seen people create cages for the Reapers I've done that too and it didn't work because the Reaper just went right through the uh, the compartments like they didn't exist but basically the same kind of idea here against the bone sharks I want to kind of enclose this with a frame of compartments and then I may actually build where I have over top of it at some point if I can line it up right and see how high the plants are going to grow I may actually top it off with this so it kind of creates an enclosed 
area for the plants. And now, another roadblock. So, I guess I'll just have it turn and do that to avoid going into uh, that right there. So, there's the current main base over that direction. So, I am on the side kind of in that direction. I'm going to do something a little different here. Something I hadn't done in a while. Uh, and never, I don't believe, with this particular theme. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. So we're going to go right here, put out the compartment, and a moon pool. And I'll finish that in a minute. I just want to get this going over here. So we're going to do, uh, I want to say there's three in between. If I remember right from doing this in the past three to give enough separation, of course, I could also just place uh, reinforcements on these and not have them try to connect together. But I basically, I'm going to build like a little set of moon pools. And what these are going to be is for sea moths, but not just any sea moth. This is not a bring us supplies here, drop them off. This is not going to be uh, just a regular docking area. This is for the defense crews. Yes, this is a secret, top secret, super secret research facility. They're researching the alien weapons or whatever. Really not that far from the gun platform. So yeah, we're kind of, they're doing some research that may or may not be nefarious. They're going to need defense against anybody that shows up that's not supposed to be there. Think like Area 51 kind of thing. If you got Area 51, you're going to have you know, you got the, the guys that run you off if you show up at Area 51. Same deal. We're going to have sea moths loaded with torpedo gun launchers, all that. And they're going to be ready to fight anybody who trespasses here. I think it's time to also start putting in some bulkheads. Which, uh... Oh, uh, no, I don't. I'm going to have to go get the stuff. Pull the stuff over for the silicone. Okay, at least now this section won't flood if the rest of it starts flooding. Yeah, we'll have to add a bunch of those all around this place. And I'm just going to literally use these moon pools. They don't need to be able to see anything fancy. I'm just going to help load up more reinforcement here. And I'm not really even that far down. And I'm just burning through a lot of hull strength as I keep building. But there. It's actually, oh, hey, yeah, daytime. You can see a little bit of light starting to build up, and you can see it. So there are my defense pools. Uh, dead pools? Can we call it that? Without getting, you know, dinged by Marvel. And that leaves me all of these little areas, and again, Bone Shark's coming after me. Uh, right now, just the tidal power with the jet streams. Though I've got that drop down, now I have a point I can throw in the uh, the thermal plants down there and use the power transmitters to connect everything there. It will tie it in. Though I've already got 4,500 power. I think I'm pretty good on power at the moment. And so nothing really set in stone yet on these, on how I want them to be used. Uh, I, I really would like to have a functioning Cyclops dock for this one. So hopefully that mod gets updated to work strictly with Nautilus and not need SML helper. And of course, I am going to be doing a lot of decorating here. So maybe, fingers crossed, we get some updates to the decorations mod and some others for that. But yes, the new base is started. I feel like I got a good bit started already. I got to do some thinking on this. I got to do some more supply gathering. And I got to read your comments below on what kind of ideas you have for the super top secret area sub 51 type of thing here. So leave it in a comment below, suggestions you got for this. And hey, uh, thanks for watching and I got work to do.